What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I was finally able to get both of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Egyptian God decks. These have finally been released, and it took me a little bit, especially today, this video is going to be late by the time you guys see it, because it was like, um, what, 9pm that I finally got these from FedEx, they were delivered to me. So yeah, I've been waiting all day for these, trying to get them, and then I started looking around town just to see if I could find them just so I could, you know, open them earlier for you guys and all that. Couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm glad I at least got these today so I can make a video for you guys. Again, sorry I'm late, FedEx hates me. You guys know how it is. But basically, these are both of the Egyptian God uh, structure decks. They're almost like starter decks, really. But each one is themed around a God card. Of course, Raw is unfortunately left out, but I guess you got Rage of Raw booster pack, if that's, you know, makes it fair. But you have one for Slifer the Sky Dragon, right here. There's like the list and everything. Have a couple of new cards for Slifer as well in this. So pretty cool if you're a fan of Slifer. There you go. And then Obelisk the Tormentor, the best God card, obviously. Come on. <laughs> no, seriously though, what's your favorite God card? I want to know what you guys think. My honest, like, favorite one is Obelisk. But let me know down in the comments. I like all three. I mean, seriously, but let me know which one is your, like, favorite of the three. But I really like the Obelisk one. Uh, for the actual decks, though, I don't know which one I would, like, say is better. They have some cool stuff. Not, like, any huge reprints, just, like, some new stuff. If you like God cards, they're for you. Uh, other than that, again, they kind of feel more like starter decks, really, than, um, than, like, a structure deck, you know? It's not really something where I feel like you could buy three of and build something competitive, because God cards, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of tough to build something competitive with God cards, even though they're amazing. I mean, the nostalgia is always there. Also, if you want to help support my channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know if you just subscribe to in the comments by saying you subscribe. And um, you get the same playmat on these, by the way, so I'm going to unfold this one. Uh, also, too, I will have a link to my TCG player in the description if you guys want to check out one of these decks or you just want to get a few cards from it. And if you do buy anything, it helps support the channel. All right, enough selling out stuff. Let's go on ahead and look at basically, like, this is going through everything that is in the deck. I guess it's for both, actually. I was wondering if it would be, you know, different, but yeah. Like, it's the blue side's for Obelisk, red side for Slifer, obviously. So, kind of cool. Gives you some ideas on how everything works. And then the playmat itself. Like I said, the playmat's the same. I mean, it's just like the both artworks um, together. So, yeah, it looks fairly nice. There you go. There. <laughs> you can see it without anything on it. it it's a standard playmat, really. Let's go ahead and go through the everything that's in, like, the Slifer deck first. And here we go. Okay. I always have a hard time opening up that plastic. <laughs> so, starting us off, we have our Slide for the Sky Dragon. Of course, this is the playable version. Like, this isn't like the older one that we used to have, like, as the promo. So, yes, you can actually use this in a duel. It doesn't say it on the bottom that you can't use it in a duel. That, those are ones you can't use, you know? So, this is good. Then we also have our brand new card, which is Soul Crossing. This is the one that I believe is just supposed to make it easier to... Yeah, it's easier to bring out the God cards. So yeah, <laughs> it, it's there to help you go for those tribute summons. Then we have Thunder Force Attack, which is Slifer's spell card. It's kind of like an upgrade to Slifer, pretty much. Another ultra rare. Then Millennium Seeker, another one of the newer cards here. It's uh, basically Shoddy, I think, as a card. So that's kind of cool. I think that was his name, if I remember correctly. And then also Ultimate Divine Beast, another new card for Slifer right here. Also tell us the Little Angel. That's another new card from this. And then everything else is, uh, like, reprints and stuff, I believe. So Reactor Slime, actually kind of cool to have that as a hollow, by the way. Harpy's Feather Duster, probably the best reprint in this. I don't know, that's a tough one. It, it's a good reprint, though. And then, yeah, you're getting just a bunch of different things that you can use with the deck. Uh, some cards are going to just make it easier for you to go for, you know, your Tribute Summon and all that. Also, these are some good reprints, because uh, that structure deck was even kind of tough to get. So getting, actually, a playset is nice. Duke Shade as well. Those are decent reprints. Monster Reborn, pretty good. A Book of Moon. Uh, Pot of Avarice, I don't know if we've had a reprint on that in a little while. Probably. It feels like it's one of the cards that's had a few reprints. Card Advance. The True Name, that's a good reprint. Lair of Darkness, I think that's a good reprint because, again, that structure deck was getting expensive. So, yeah, that will probably help some people out. Draw Fate. Mirror Force, always good. Reckless Greed. Yeah, you just have a lot of different stuff, really. Again, it feels like a starter deck, really. And when you get down to it, and then you have your little advertisement thingies, which are cool. And I can't wait for this set, by the way. King's Court. Looks like it's going to be pretty cool. 
And now, again, like I said, the best God card, Obelisk. I, I wonder how many hate, you know, hate messages I'm going to get for that. I know, I, I think most people like Slifer. Seriously, like, I feel like that's probably the most popular of the three. I don't know, just always liked Obelisk. Of course, my favorite color is blue, so maybe that has something to do with it. I think everything's the same on the playmat, too, right? Yeah, it's all the same. Okay, yeah, there's no need showing this. It's the same thing, exactly. I thought it would be, but I want to double check. And uh, let's get through this plastic. There we go. Obelisk was much easier, just saying. <laughs> it was much easier to open up. Uh, let's see, so of course, again, playable, same stuff. You have your Obelisk the Tormentor right here. Have Soul Crossing, you do get that card like in both. That's the same, so that's kind of interesting. We get Fist of Fate, which is like the Obelisk power-up effect, kind of like making him more like the god card in the anime, basically, you know? Like, it's kind of the power-up. Divine Evolution. This card's kind of interesting because also it's for the Wicked God cards. And I've heard some rumors that maybe there's something going on there. Maybe we'll see more support for them. Would be cool. I'd like to see that. But yeah, it does work for them, too. And then, yeah, Level Resist Wall. Angel Zero One. Mare Mare, which is actually as a hollow is kind of cool. But yeah, <laughs> I know that's a card that was a common that was used a lot. Harpy's Feather Duster, of course, again, probably your better reprint. And then everything else is like, you know, again, it, it reminds me more of like a starter deck. So Nimmo Mamanga, Bazoo, <laughs> Cyber Dragon. I mean, there's some pretty decent reprints here, but nothing that's just like, oh my God, you need to get it for the reprint. Ross Disciples really good. I'm surprised it's not really in both, honestly, on that. I would say that's really good for the deck, either one. A couple of Gizmek reprints, too. Pretty nice. Brain Control, and then Monster Reborn again. Double Summon. I don't know. You got, like, a bunch of the Forbiddens, too. Call the Haunted, Cloning, and Drowning Mirror Force, actually, instead of regular Mirror Force. And then you got your advertisements and stuff again. Really, in my opinion, and, and maybe there's some bias to it, so you can, you know, take it with a grain of salt, really. But I feel like with the, the reprints and, like, the deck itself, I kind of like the Obelisk one a little bit better. I like some of the reprints that they had, like Nimble Mamanga and stuff, too. That way you can keep it on the field, get those life points, and, you you know, I, I feel like it's going to be easier to bring out Obelisk than it's going to be with Slifer. But I do plan on uh, testing out these decks, maybe recording some dual videos for you guys if you'd like to see it. But honestly, again, it could be my bias, but I kind of like the Obelisk deck a little bit more. But again, honestly, it kind of just comes down to... Which one is your favorite god card? That's the one you're going to buy. And honestly, if you like all the god cards, like me, I mean, for real, I'm, if there's anything for any of the god cards, I'm going to buy it. So, I, I like them all. You know, again, I kind of wish Raw got something in this too. I understand kind of why. But, uh, yeah, these are fun structure decks. Is it something you absolutely need? Not really. <laughs> I don't think so. But if you're wanting some fun, maybe get someone into the game too because this is a simple deck to get into because you're not dealing with links, pendulums, any of that stuff. This is probably something really good for that. So I can recommend it for a beginner. Again, think of it almost as a starter deck. I feel like that, or just something fun. Open them up, have a couple of duels, you know, relax, have fun. That's what's good about these. So I think they're worth picking up, but you know, if you don't, you don't really need anything or whatever, which I feel like most people probably not, it's just up to your own preference. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Again, check out all the other stuff in the description, all that too. And uh, like I said, I'll try to record some duels with these. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.